Slicing calories will in general be inseparable from weight reduction. In any case, imagine a scenario in which we let you know that one more system to shedding pounds is really eating more. There is such an amazing concept as disrupting your weight reduction endeavors by cutting an excessive number of calories. At times, you need to eat more to get thinner so your body can work appropriately while as yet shedding pounds. You can do this by setting on shrewd food decisions, low calorie, high volume food and moving more. We'll make sense of this technique in more detail beneath. Will increasing calories help lose weight? It sounds extremely unreasonable expending your calories to shed pounds, yet it is conceivable. As a matter of fact, in specific cases it can really assist you with accomplishing your weight reduction objective rather than seriously confining your calories. Eating too under your calorie upkeep sum can really make your digestion drop, implying that you'll consume less calories. If so far as you might be concerned, then expanding calories may really assist you with getting more fit. Why you should eat more to lose more There are three justifications for why you ought to eat more to lose weight. 1. Forestall muscle catabolism 2. Greater happiness, opportunity 3. Limit or prevent binge eating episodes Forestall muscle catabolism at the point when you definitely cut calories and eat altogether less calories than what your body needs to keep up with weight, your body will consume muscle. While this will happen when you cut calories by any means, doing it at a sensational rate will accelerate what is called muscle catabolism. Eventually, this will influence your size. However, isn't that the thing you need? To lose some size? Fat? Yes. However, muscle catabolism will mean you will lose muscle size specifically and muscle gives you a conditioned look. So in the event that this is the thing you're going for, it's vital to eat more to get in shape yet at the same time inside your calorie deficiency. In the event that you are keen on figuring out how to ascertain your optimal number of calories for weight reduction, then look at our article on calories for weight reduction. Greater happiness or opportunity. Having the option to eat more while as yet getting in shape will give you more opportunity and adaptability with your day-to-day -day food decisions. It implies that you'll have greater adaptability in what you eat and the amount you can eat. It'll make shedding pounds to a lesser degree a monotonous undertaking which can do ponders for your mindset. Limit or prevent binge eating episodes. You just have a limited measure of self-discipline. On the off chance that you seriously limit your calorie consumption, not eating food varieties that have a more significant carbohydrate content will just work for quite a while before you hit a specific point and begin gorging. By permitting yourself to eat more calories and not having any food sources that are on your totally beyond reach show, you can limit, on the off chance that not forestall, picking out episodes that can influence you truly and intellectually. Could I at any point be eating too little to lose weight? Eating excessively little to get thinner. In opposition to conviction, there is such an incredible concept as eating excessively little to get more fit. Going too hard can mean making some hopeless memories, not seeing improvement and ending up in a triumphant pattern of eating close to nothing and afterward eating excessively. It's essential to take note of that what is too little is inconsistent. What is excessively little to one individual may not be no different for the other, so on the off chance that you are contemplating whether you are slicing such a large number of calories to get thinner, here are a signs that you really want to eat more. Continuously drained. Being drained is ravenous. It isn't to suffer from drawn out exhaustion. It might imply that your energy levels are extremely low because of absence of food and supplements and that you are not giving your body sufficient fuel. Continuously hungry. Being ravenous while attempting to shed pounds is unavoidable. All things considered, you are intentionally giving your body less fuel than it necessitates to keep up with your ongoing size. In any case, in the event that you are thinking of yourself as starving with food continually at the forefront of your thoughts, perhaps you are cutting excessively a lot as well as settling on some unacceptable food decisions. You could need to amp up the feasts and settle on better food decisions. Humored. Holder is the point at which you are furious on the grounds that you are ravenous. In this way, envision how over the top hungry you'd be on the off chance that you are continually ravenous. It'll mean more emotional episodes, less persistence and more limited tempers. 
In the event that you eat more to get in shape, your body and everybody around you will thank you for it. Terrible showing in rec center. In the event that your exhibition is reliably experiencing in the exercise center, we are not discussing a once-off terrible day which happens to everybody and you can't lift however much you could beforehand or your perseverance has endured a hot shot, then at that point you might have to eat more to get more energy. Woozy. On the off chance that your body is exceptionally falling short on fuel, don't be amazed assuming you are ending up experiencing consistent bleary eyed spells or insecurity. It's your body letting you know that you really want to take care of it more. Other medical issues. Aside from dazed spells, your body will track down alternate ways of letting you know that you are starving it and that you really want to eat more food and supplements. These signs can arrive in various ways which include loss of monthly cycle, weak fingernails, going bald. What do you need to consider to lose weight? Three interesting points if you have any desire to eat more and shed pounds. If you have any desire to eat more and get thinner, the following are three interesting points. Calorie deficit. If you have any desire to get in shape, you should be in a calorie shortfall. This implies eating less calories than your body needs to keep up with its weight. So go for the gold 500 calories less to keep a negative energy balance. So in the event that your upkeep calories is 2000, a sensible shortage should be 1500 to 1800 calories. Zero in on macronutrients. While a calorie shortage is vital to shedding pounds, what you eat and can have a huge effect. Offset your feasts with a combination of macronutrients, protein, carbs, and solid fats. It's essential to get every one since they assume a critical part in the body. Protein is the structure block for muscle and you should eat sufficient protein in any event while you are attempting to get more fit so you can limit muscle catabolism however much as could be expected. Also, as indicated by this article, it adds to satiety and the protection of bone mineral substance. Also, in the event that you are matching this with weight lifting, you will require more protein than if you were stationary. Starches are your body's principal fuel for energy. With the right carb sources too, you can get in your dietary fiber which is important to control solid discharges and glucose levels. Also, it, closed by solid fats, increments satiety so you can feel more full for longer. Center around micronutrients. Micronutrients are crucial to your well-being. Whether you need to shed pounds, you want to focus on your supplements and minerals and guarantee that you get all that you require for your body to appropriately work. They are fundamental for your bone well-being, resistant framework and development. The most effective method to eat more to get thinner nevertheless be in a calorie shortage. Anyway, presently you realize that you can eat more to shed pounds, how would you go about it? We comprehend that it tends to be terrifying to truly accept that this should be possible, so here are a few hints on the most proficient method to get everything rolling. Low calorie, high volume. Volume eating will be your new nearest Volume eating will be your new dearest companion. You definitely realize that your foods grown from the ground are perfect for your well-being and brimming with every one of the micronutrients you really want, yet in the event that you are attempting to eat more to get thinner, your products of the soil will be your closest companion. There are food varieties that don't contain such a large number of calories, so you can truly top off your plate with it. Essentially, you'll feel more full on less calories. Exploit these food sources by guaranteeing that you eat an enormous piece of them with your feasts. This could mean having a yummy lunch with a major side serving of mixed greens that will give you more volume without much more calories. It could likewise mean having natural product as a nibble with your supper like watermelon or a major bowl of blended berries. By adding these food varieties into your eating regimen, you can truly be eating more while as yet remaining on your objective of getting in shape. Move more. If you have any desire to eat more, then at that point you really want to move more. This doesn't imply that you need to complete two exercises a day rather than one or twofold how much time your instructional course is. A basic yet successful approach to doing this is to build your non-practice movement thermogenesis or NEAT. This implies rolling out little improvements over the course of your day that can bring about huge changes. Use the stairwell rather than the lift or elevators, walk or cycle around as opposed to driving and try to hit a specific number of steps each day. 
Everyday undertakings, for example, cooking, cleaning, even squirming all add to your need. On the off chance that you might want to have a customized preparing program that takes special care of your well-being and wellness objectives, then at that point, investigate our application FitBot. FitBot creates a readed exercise meeting only for you, as indicated by the sort of preparing you need, the objectives you need to reach, and the hardware and space you have accessible. After watching this video, do you think that eating more can help you lose weight? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel along with turning on the notifications. Thanks for watching till the end.